Hey, what's going on guys? It is I, Tetra, and in this video we're going to be taking a look into the Ray. So, just a quick disclaimer here, this game is in closed alpha, so please do bear that in mind. Now, with that out the way, let's talk about the Ray. I'm going to be running through its features and my build for it, and then following that up with some gameplay. So if you're not really interested in the stats ramblings, then please do feel free to skip into the matches. Okay, so the Ray. The Ray is one of the fire supports, and I would say it is one of the deadliest snipers in this game. Uh, you can one-shot vehicles with this out to absolutely ridiculous ranges, um, sometimes in, in perfect situations from spawn to spawn. So let's have a look at our features here. We have the warning system, which uh, when you take damage triggers a smoke screen for 10 seconds. We have charge shot. I will try and explain this uh, mechanically in the gameplay because I think it'll be easier with visual reference. Then with uh, the smoke grenades we can deploy a smoke screen and lastly we have a thermal imager so you can see through smoke uh, along with the Jaeger, the Reaper and the Arblast. Okay so let's have a look at the build for this vehicle. So I'm going to be running through the upgrades here followed by the perks and then the consumables. So in slot one, we've got an improvement to the gun charging in low mode, as well as a buff to the shell speed. Uh, for clarity, low mode is your first charge on Ray when you first click. In slot two, we have a buff to the spotting range, as well as spotting duration, and an improvement to our zoom factor. In slot three, we have an improvement to the hit points, a reduction to fire duration, as well as fire damage, and a further increase to the engine hit points. Now, in slot 4, I'm running the improvement to the gun charging in normal mode. So this is basically the second charge for Ray after you have clicked. In slot 5, we've got an improvement to the shell speed as well as crit damage in normal mode. In slot 6, we've got an improvement to the crit multiplier overall as well as the shell speed. In slot 7, I'm running the reduction to the cooldown on the repair kit as well as its effectiveness uh, just because of the low HP pool here of 1500 and that's including this uh, buff from slot 3. Ray is very easy to kill and I think uh, the damage reduction in combination with faster heals just allows you to be a little bit more survivable. Now in slot 8 I'm running the improvement to the damage 25% up to 300 meters. I also have considered running this and have given this a try but I've elected to go back for the damage as I've been seeing smaller numbers and I, I like to see those big juicy crits so I've uh, taken it off. Then in slot 9 I'm running the improved shell speed. Uh, it says it eliminates dispersion in overcharge mode and I'm sure that would be true but it doesn't feel like Ray has any dispersion at all so I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Then in slot 10 the exciting slot for all agents as I like to say I am running the improvements to the forward and reverse speed, as well as the sprint energy volume. Now this does make us take additional crit damage to the engine. Now this might not be the popular pick for Ray in the 10th slot. The reason I'm taking it is just I find that the Ray really struggles with its mobility and um, improving its ability to get around the map I just think is really valuable. Okay, now let's talk about the perks. Firstly here we have our agent perk, which is El Rayo increasing our charge speed by 5%. I believe this applies to all modes. Then for our roll perk, we have overclocked, which increases engine acceleration by 10%. And lastly, in our division slot, we have dying fire, which reduces the duration of fire by two seconds and uh, the damage fire does by 50%, just helping that overall survivability in the little ways we can. Lastly here, I am running the fire extinguisher, exact same reasoning. Uh, just to try and aid in the reduction of damage taken. Now, the reason I'm also not running the stim pack here is because this does help with gun reload, and as Ray has the railgun and the charge shot, she does not have a gun reload, so this ability would currently not work with the way that things are set up. Hopefully you found that all helpful, and uh, yeah, let me take you into some games and show you what this thing can do. Okay, so we are loading in here with our Ray. This is the 10v10 conquest mode with the five cap points. On this map, I would definitely like to head up towards C over there and uh, just try to get a nice sniping mantle. So with the Ray, firstly, I think this vehicle is incredibly strong 
when people pay you no mind. And to me, it feels like it can be quite weak if people realize you exist. And let's just say the gun makes people realize you exist. But at the same time, you just can deal such, like, ridiculously gross amounts of damage that it doesn't even feel like it really matters sometimes. So here against the HSTVL, we managed to get a 1300 hit. That's quite nice. Gonna go for another shot. Okay, we don't manage to finish him off, unfortunately. And you can see the gun charging. So we've just charged into low mode. We are now charging into normal mode. And uh, we will go into the overcharge in uh, just a moment. Now, raised turret traverse is very slow. And uh, I find that this... It feels like it makes me miss a lot of shots, but that's probably more of a skill issue. Um, and there we get a beautiful one shot on that Riketta. Now there's another Riketta here contesting the cap point. So we're going to try and help out there, but our team manages to finish him off. You can see that we've got a Riketta in the cap. We are going to go for the shot here against his engine if we can. Try and finish him off in one shot as well. Nice. There is a little bit of damage that gets dealt to you when you are in the overcharge mode. By default, it is 100 uh, per second, that is, that you stay in the overcharge. So do bear that in mind as well when you're playing this vehicle. But as you can see, the ray hits like a truck, especially when you get to snipe. And I am very glad that I am in a position here where I can do so, because when I don't get to... The ray feels a lot worse, uh, having to charge up your gun, having to rush around corners, not know when you'll need a shot, and not have it because you haven't been charging already. Uh, can make it a little bit awkward to play, but uh, overall I would say that it's not an issue. So we just have to let that shot go there because we don't really have a target we can put it in against. Maybe I should be using the thermals and then more people will become apparent. So, can't quite tell what that is. It's a reaper. And he blocks our shot. That is unfortunate. But uh, there is a Riketa here. I don't quite know how that one missed. But it's alright. We'll get another opportunity. Just trying to gauge whether or not I might have time to go for the normal mode shot. And I think the answer is no. Uh, we can also see that we've got another Riketa here. Okay. Our Riketa has dealt with him swiftly. Yeah, get a shot into the back of the Akira there, but no crit. We've also got a beautiful golden Riketa. Ooh, that's that's what dreams are made out of. Okay, yeah, beautiful. Ah, this Riketa is now looking at us. I don't blame him after what we did previously. We've got the back of a punch there. But the Punch goes down. Okay, we managed to finish off that Riketa. Got another one coming in. Just gonna try and get a little bit of chip damage. We can see an HSTVL down there. We've got a Reaper coming in. Instantly goes for his heal. I'm gonna see if we can't get another charge shot. If he gives us his engine like this, we should be able to finish him off in one hit. Unfortunately, he was gonna be out of our line of sight there, so we have to let that one fly. Mm. Oh, we see some scope glint. I really wanna. Oh, we are okay. We're, we're very much paying the price for our our greed here, just treading our entire H people. It's okay. We aren't under too much pressure. We are just getting to sit and snipe. Okay, we finish off that other Riketa. Gonna see here. We can't maybe get some shots against. That looks like the HSTVL. We're going to fully charge here, just to try and guarantee the kill. Is he already dead? 
he is indeed already dead. That is unfortunate. Okay, we've got that Raketa as well as a Akira coming in. HSTVL in the distance. Ah, oh, that's very unfortunate. I was hoping we might be able to hit a snipe on that speed demon. But also, we are getting pressured here in the cap circle. No Amarak found there, unfortunately. Uh, against this, we're going to go for the Reaper because I'm useless and I can't crit Akira's. Oh, I guess not critting an Akira would still be a bit better than missing the Reaper. Ooh, juicy engine hit there. This is making me wonder if maybe we need to or don't require that uh, constant use of the overcharge mode. Okay, let's go for another normal mode or... Mm. Guys, I don't know what it is. If somebody can tell me where Akira's crits exist, that would be great. I just never find them. Okay, we're going to lose that shot once again, just to not uh, be overheating. Okay, we get a finisher over there. Like We've also got someone coming in on the cap here, so let's try and see who we can see. Appears to be a Raketa. Ah, and we have a Phantom. Okay. I know that I can Amarak him through that cheek, so we're going to go for that shot. And then let's see if we can't maybe finish off this Raketa. Okay, we don't manage to find the engine there. I'm just going for these rapid fire shots. My aim with this vehicle is remarkably bad, I apologize. But it's alright. Continuing my bad aim trend. Okay, you know what? Maybe this thing does have dispersion. Maybe I've just been very, very, very lucky in the past. Because uh, this is not the the accuracy experience I had become used to. Mm, a little bit too far forward there, we don't find the crit. Question is, can we find a pixel? Can we find a pixel? We cannot. We're going to try again. Just a pixel. That's all I need. And we find it, we get the cancel on the hill there. Nice. Okay, we've also got a Reaper. Impressive kill streak, Commander. Now, our team unfortunately is not winning the points game here. But, um... I don't really feel like I'm in a position, literally or figuratively, to do too much about that. Uh, I don't feel like I can afford to be aggressive. And maybe, maybe I just need to put my big boy pants on uh, when playing this vehicle a little bit more than I do. But I haven't found it to be the uh, safest way to approach these things. Got another Raketa here. Unfortunately, that is the end of the game. We didn't die, which was great, and we did get a good score there. I do wish we could have had a bit more point control, but... Um, Beggars can't be choosers, and I definitely was not putting in the work, so I can't really blame anyone else. Okay, well, we'll bring you back for game two. Okay, so we are loading in here to our second game on the new map. Definitely some weird war shenanigans over there. Uh, but yeah, this is the aircraft carrier map, so this is a bit unique. It is the Conquest game mode, and this is 10v10, but there are only four cap points. So there are kind of two in line with each other this way, and then there's a kind of friendly cap over there, and a an, like, hostile cap in that direction. Uh, so yeah, just a reduction in the cap points is definitely interesting. Now we're going to see lots of people flooding forward here. 
so let's see who we might be able to well give a give a little spank bonk that was beautiful <laughs> okay there are there is a lot of enemies in this general area though and I really don't want to be caught out but let's see what we might be able to do okay, we're gonna go straight through his turret Now, if that HSTVL is going to play a game like that, we're going to have a rather large overall advantage. Just because he's not going to really have the, the HP to, to play that game. Mm, but he does. Okay, nice. We are quite low here, though. And we do, I believe, have a Jaeger coming in. So we're just going to... We're just going to leave. Uh, okay, you see, I forgot to... To start charging my gun. I forgot to, 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 to knock the arrow. Okay. And I, I should be a little bit more cognizant of the Jaeger's ability to one-shot us. So the ray is among the ranks of vehicles that can be amaracked uh, no, through no, the front of the turret. So you can actually amarack the ray through that like gun shield on either side. So that is something to be aware of. Yeah, we are going for this punch here. Uh, fortunately for us, the the uh, ye okay. Well, we're watching some very interesting things occur. It's really hoping for the Amarak there through the side, but we don't actually manage to find it. Yeah, while well, we pick him up, I think we're going to move over towards the carrier. I don't actually want to be charging the shot, so I'm just going to let it off. I will start charging one now, however, in anticipation for potential threats, like that guy. Oh, we missed the ammo rack, but we will win the reload battle, so this is okay. Nothing happened. Nothing happened, I promise. Yeah, I don't know if anybody else feels like the Ray's aiming can be a little bit weird at times. But um, situations like that happen to me a lot. And that is why I am such a coward in this vehicle. It's why I play so far back. I just I just never really land like good shots when I'm needing to push people. And maybe it's just the fear of knowing that things like Jaegers can go through the front of my turret and kill me in one hit. But at the same time, I can just generically one-shot a Jaeger, so I guess all's fair in love and war. Okay, well, we've got a beautiful little mantle over here. We do have the punch coming up, so I'm going to get ready to put one well, right in the back of his turret, hopefully. Or I could just hit his track. That's fine, too. And uh, the last thing we really want is him to look at us. Okay, we don't manage to, to find that crit. The punch goes goodbye. Okay, let's see. Nice. Oh, he's back. We managed to get him. You do see the Amorak there through the turret, as I was saying. We do also have a Jaeger. We missed that um, that crit. We're gonna get ourselves healed up here. Popping an additional smoke screen in the hope that he might peek. He's not going to peek, so we just need to we just need to get gone. Whoa. Um, may have some mines up here. I do not want this punch to punch me. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna miss the shot there. We're gonna get rammed. He's gonna shoot us one more time, and then I expect us to be dead. Yeah. Punch, die and get a free joke. Uh -huh. 
Uh, I, I'm trying to figure out where I might be able to go yeah, on this map to have a slightly right. higher level of, ex of uh, success. Because right now, it is not great. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so... I'm thinking maybe if we can find a position a little bit more ranged where we have to take a much smaller window of shots. Actually, this isn't going to work because by the time we see uh, enemies coming in, we're going to have to fire. And if we are not charged, then we're not going to be able to land the shots. Okay, we see another punch over there. Oh, I can't Green read. That attack. definitely says Riketa. Yeah. No. Okay, so there Ray manages to pick us up. Yeah, I'm finding this match, this um, this this map and Ray to be a bit of a puzzle. I've had some of my best results actually on this map, but I don't really know where to where to uh, be looking. I don't know where to be going. I do think on top of the aircraft carrier may well be one of our best bets. The enemy team does have a small points advantage here. And they seem to be aggressively trying to keep it. Oh, oh, oh. This is not ideal. Okay. to pick him up. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wait. I think this guy almost knows that he has to push out. I'm gonna be patient. Oh, that that was a friendly, <laughs> and then he pushes out. That's unfortunate. Oh, okay. I don't know if I hit that ray, but uh, I think we'll. Have both pretty dead. Got your six. And other numbers, I guess. Gotta roll with the punches. Yeah, so I would say that some of the, the weaknesses of this vehicle are just you can't really push. Um pushing will most of the time in my experience just result in an early an early grave. Now, is that a real Jaeger? Yes. Yeah, we do find the, the ammo there against the back of the turret. It was actually the shot I was going for first time around, but we didn't find it. Hmm. Okay, we've got a Jaeger coming in. We actually we should be able to beat him on reload here, so we're gonna we're gonna keep ready for that that shot. You know what? I'm gonna try and bait him here. I know this area has bad hitboxes. He does find the shot. And we're going to end up killing ourselves if we don't just lose it, so... Not an ideal situation. Okay, we are healing though. Yeah, this Jaeger's just kind of stuck. Actually, want to be peeking that Reaper. Gonna have to wait here for our next. Uh... Oh 
an extra pair. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to try and turn around, get my shot charging, and we're going to peek from a slightly different angle. Just like that. Hurt the crew. Yeah, well, we don't manage to get the crit, but we do finish them off, which means I can go back to my favorite pastime of pushing in the ray. I'm not done yet. Big old hit there. Okay, he goes down. I do, I do find the the juicy punch ammo racks are absolutely lovely. I've uh, found that the chopper is a little bit less squishy. Oh, that's a ray. He's looking at us. The question is, is he charged? And we don't find the ammo. Oh, it goes. Okay, we're going to actually try and get out of his line of sight for as long as we can here. Ah, that is not ideal. Okay, well, me and this Jaeger seem to be having a bit of a back and forth. Uh, they've got three kills against me, and I have now two against them. The so they are winning this duel. Now... By some miracle, I am top of team. I feel like this is going atrociously for me, but um, maybe it is. Maybe it's just going atrociously for everyone. Uh, I'm going to choose to believe that. Okay, we're going to peek this Jaeger and probably regret it. And I am aware of the overcharge. Nice. Managed to get that shot in. Yeah, so what I meant there by I am aware of the overcharge is just um, the amount of damage we were actually incurring from having the overcharge tick us, tick our HP down. Okay, I am just going to put the shot into this decoy to get rid of it. Sorry about the thermals there. Ah, noted. Okay, well, this match is just about to come to a close. It is looking like a victory for the enemy side here. Let's see if we can't maybe just vulture one more kill before this one's over. Gonna start that reload process, or charge process rather, in anticipation for who we are about to see. And there he is. Okay, we get one more. Might be able to even pick up an HSTVL here. Uh, seems unlikely. His entire tank is basically blue, but I mean, it is what it is. So yeah, um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, I realize I haven't talked too much about the raid strengths and weaknesses, but um, I, I do think it is a vehicle that struggles to push. I think you have arguably the best sniping gun in the game, if it wasn't for the fact that uh, the shells just miss sometimes. At least that's how it feels to me. Uh, it feels like the turret doesn't turn fast enough and where I expect to shoot is not where the bullet or where I expect the bullet to go is not where it does go. So it's been an interesting experience, but I've I have really enjoyed this vehicle. I struggled with it a bit in the beginning, but I kind of got used to it, and I would say it's definitely one of the nicer agents. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. We will see you in the next one.